hi guys welcome back to my channel today is an exciting video because i'm finally getting ready to start some homeschool videos for you guys i love talking about homeschooling it's one of my passions if you don't know i have been homeschooling my kids since 2015 i believe is when i started homeschooling and so we've been going strong since then and every year we've done a, some of the same things and then i've changed things up most years um, just depending on how the previous year went or maybe the season of life that we are in um, some years as you know can be more hectic than others um, and so we will just tailor what we're doing for the kids based on what's going on in our life so today I want to just start the first video by talking about what I did this last year with my kids I homeschooled Mason who just turned 13 in April Maddie just turned 10, um, Solomon is five, and then I have a little one who's getting ready to turn three. So those were the ones that I was homeschooling um, this year, you know, the little one. The two little ones actually were not in uh, formal school. So even though Solomon's five, we had tried to start kindergarten with him, uh, or I had tried at the beginning of the year and just realized it was not quite time for him. So. I decided to just put all of that to the side and we are going to be starting um, this fall with his kindergarten curriculum he will be turning six in uh, September so he does have a late birthday and so um, I just felt comfortable doing that with him so I want to talk about the group subjects that I did with them we did uh, as a group our Bible, history, literature, science. Um, I'm not going to do the, I don't think I'm going to talk about the science portion today, but I'm just going to talk about our uh, history, Bible, and literature, and then some of our morning time things that we did together as a family. And I hope this is helpful to you if you are kind of interested in seeing what we did or are looking for some new curriculum to incorporate for your family this year. Last year was one of, I have done sunlight one other time before, but we decided to go kind of full on sunlight last year and I loved it. I really felt like it was a good fit for our family. I have decided to stick with sunlight moving forward for a lot of our subjects and I'll kind of go into um, the ones that I'm sticking with sunlight on and then there are a few other subjects for Mason and Maddie that we'll be doing some different things. So let's get started. Last year, we did the history Bible language curriculum, which was the um, US history year one, and that was core D. So I don't think they call them cores anymore, but I still call them cores. So it was like the package D that you can get for sunlight. And I ordered, the whole thing and you can find these used online and you can get them new from sunlight however whatever fits your budget right now last year i did do a payment plan which they offered if you shop early enough and that worked really well this year we are on more of a tighter budget this year so i am purchasing um additional sunlight materials secondhand through some facebook marketplace um groups specifically for sunlight and i'm really excited about that so there's a lot of options there's ways to make it fit your budget if you purchase new from sunlight um, you know you're getting the you know brand new everything and everything is in good condition and complete um, however th there is a price tag involved of course with brand new curriculum of any brand <laughs> so um, but this is a big giant sunlight binder here and inside you I like to I make mine even extra bulky because I like to put my curriculum uh, into page protectors but I'm going to take one out and kind of show you the way it's laid out something that really interested me with sunlight last year was the kind of open and go I have not been very good in the past about planning um, I'm not a big uh, pre-planner because life you know my plans never seem to go according to plan so I just really wanted something that I could open up have it there choose what we do choose what we don't do check off what we get done and I don't have to think about it so that was what was really appealing to me 
Um, this is essentially what it looks like. I don't know if this will be backwards or whatnot for you guys, but hopefully, let's see. I might need to just turn it around. I'm not sure, but I'm going to hold it up anyway. Um, as you can see, this is what I ended up doing for the year. So I would, as we would do the things for the particular day, I would just check mark them. If we needed to move uh, some type of assignment to another day, as you can see right here, I would just circle it and then put an arrow like we didn't get to this. Let's just do that tomorrow. Um, and I, I felt like this was a fantastic way to keep homeschool records. So I know uh, for every single week what we ended up getting done, what we didn't do, and I did that for each week. Um, so this is the kind of the rundown of the Bible, the history and geography, read alouds and readers. And then as you go through the week, it breaks down day one, day two, day three into more detail. It shows you what you need to get done. And I'll sh give you a glimpse of that as well. Um, and then it'll give you like discussion questions and any additional information that you need to know about. So like, this is the American Indian Prayer, Gu Prayer Guide, and it'll tell you kind of some additional information or additional activities that you can do for that. Bible memorization, American history, um, and so on and so forth. It just goes through each one. It's really, really, really laid out well for you. Each day you just kind of open it and go. There's very little prep if any at all, which I really appreciate. And um, this year, since I, I am going to be doing um, other things <laughs> in addition to what I've been doing, that's a whole nother video. Um, I'm gonna be even busier, so I need that open and go kind of system. Um, so I wanted to, um, there's also, I'm sorry for skipping around a little bit, but there's also discussion questions, a packet for read alouds and readers and um, just uh, discussion questions and also like vocabulary if you want to kind of hone in on some vocabulary skills based on what you're reading. There's just so much. They give you so much material to work with and like I said, you can choose to use it all or you can choose to tailor it down if you need to and we definitely did that. Um, throughout the year. So I really appreciate that. Um, so each morning we used our morning time to get done our group subjects. And I always started off with our, some Bible scripture, the scripture memory. There's uh, a song in the curriculum, a CD. So we did that, learned some scripture memorization. And then I always did our catechism. So our truth and grace catechism and um, we're just moving through we've been using this for years and we just move through this and memorize each little catechism so just as an example i would say who made you and then they repeat god made me and i would say what else did god make and then they would say god made all things etc etc this is from founders.org i think there are three books in the series there's all sorts of good things in these books. There are um, the catechism, but there's also some hymns and um, the books of the Bible and just lots of different things that you can um, work on with your kids. So very, I mean, highly, highly recommend this. I have adored this. It's, I've seen the fruit of what it produces, um, just hiding the word down into their heart. So I definitely recommend that. So founders.org for that. We also would do some reading um, out of one of these books. This is the Brave Heroes and Bold Defenders. Um, 50 True Stories of Daring Men of God. And then I have the Women of God book. This was a recommendation from a friend of mine um, on YouTube as well. Um, Jen from Modern Mom for Life. She had been using actually all the books I'm getting ready to share with you guys is what she had recommended. And I picked them up and I love them. They're fantastic books. So I can't say enough good things about them. But, and we still have plenty to go. So we'll be using this um, continuing on for group time as well. We did um, some of these nature, a nature poem every day of the year. I will say these tend to be a little 
Um, some of them are fantastic, but some of them are a little bit advanced for vocabulary wise and they can be a little bit difficult to understand for the kids. So depending on what it was for that day, I would pick and choose whether or not we did it. But it's really neat because it's short. It doesn't take a long time and it's broken down by the days of the year. And so you can, you know, introduce your kids to some poetry and maybe yourself as well if you're not well versed in poetry i'm not so this is a good resource as well all right and then the last thing i wanted to share with you guys this is not sunlight all all of the things i'm showing you right now are not sunlight these were just um kind of like morning basket morning morning time books but this was also a recommendation from jen over at modern mom for life and um we have adored this book so as you can see there are some amazing pictures um, little snippets about the animals and there's different ones but this one is an anthology of intriguing animals by dk and they have many many different um, i think there's four or five there's one on space and maybe like the sea and i can't remember what else but there's some really cool dinosaurs and i forget there's other things but my kids love this book. I mean, the picture, first of all, the illustrations are amazing and they like to play little guessing games, you know, for what the animal is going to be. And so um, I definitely think I'm gonna pick up some more of these to uh, use so that we can just have something fresh as we start our new school year. And then I am going to show you uh, Cordy the sunlight um, curriculum that is included in the Bible history and geography and literature. Um, so what I did is I would take like seven weeks at a time. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I would take out seven weeks at a time and put it in a smaller binder. I have them all labeled and then I put the the weekly sheets and sheet protectors so that I could continue to use this curriculum down the road. Um, but so that I didn't have to have this big bulky binder all the time, I just kept seven weeks at a time of the plans. Okay, let me set that back there. Okay, so let me share with you some of the books that come with Cordy. You get an introduction to poetry and this was really fun we once a week we would have like a poetry um reading and another in good introduction to some poetry and there's a website that they recommend and we use that where um, there's someone on the website that reads the poetry to you so that was um, really good for the kids to hear um, and then i think the core this is part of the core history book so you alternate with the curriculum reading the history from a couple of books and i'm going to share with you what those are so this is the beginners american history it says from christopher columbus to john sutter and what this is let me share with you hopefully there's not too much of a glare but um let me share you with you like kind of what it looks like so the reading selections are not they're not hard to get through and what i really liked about it was it's not super dense and confusing and the kids seem to follow along just fine when we read from this book and actually with all of their materials they seem to be able to follow and stay engaged that was one of my complaints with some of the materials um, that we use through um, i think it was the charlotte mason curriculum but there were some of the materials that were that we used history materials that were so dense and so dry that the kids just didn't retain any of the knowledge and neither did i and so i knew that that was just something that we would have to change and i really appreciate the way that these books are um laid out and the way that the vocabulary that they use is it's not dumbed down but it's more easily understood by children um, the next book is The Landmark History of the American People from Plymouth to the West for Young People. So here is this book, and I'll show you a little bit about what that looks like. 
so each day you'll read like a section it'll say you know read from page whatever to like the middle of page like the next page or something never ever is it like really really long and overbearing and there's some good pictures in here and what I would find is that there would be some overlap of course from what you read in this book and what you read in this book and then the next one I'm going to show you but every time that we would get that overlap, it would really help to solidify the event and what happened. And the more times that you hear something like that, the more it tends to stick in your mind. So I really felt like I learned more about American history than I've ever known before. I mean, I'm learning right beside my kids. <laughs> I feel like I didn't get the greatest history education in public high school. So um, those two books were really amazing. And then there's this one. This is the uh, American History of Visual Encyclopedia. And this one was also really good for the kids. And we would just read short sections, whatever it told us to read, we would read, look at the pictures, and we would talk about it. And we really enjoyed and loved um, this book as well. So this is the main, um, the main books for the history portion of Sunlight Curriculum Core D. Alrighty, and I'm going to show you some of the additional books that kind of help to supplement um, that information. So there are, uh, there's a book on the Constitution, very short little book, book on the Bill of Rights. This is the American Indian Prayer Guide. So this was a portion of the um like bible portion and so it was really interesting to kind of learn about different american indian tribes and then we would have a prayer about a specific tribe and we had a very short little section each day that we read and so that was fun and we liked that as well now let me talk about i think that's it for um there is the timeline book now full disclosure comes with stickers but as you can see <laughs> we didn't use it <laughs> we didn't use the timeline book however I kind of wish that we had of so um, I have it and I may I may try to do better with that with this coming year so we'll do timeline stickers moving forward probably because I really wish that we had kept up with that now back to the readers and the read alouds core d comes with tons of books and if you know me you know i love books and um the way that i organized them was i put little washi tape stickers on the top and the purple ones were our read alouds and then the teal ones were independent readers so i'm just going to kind of quickly go through and show you what comes with this package let's see and there's a bunch there is a lot all right so i'm just going to hold up the read alouds and let you see what comes with them and i think it really is a good idea to do okay i'm back my card was full so i had to delete some stuff apparently i forgot to do that so anyway I was saying that I think it's a good idea to put washi tape to kind of help label or some other way to so that you can know what books belong with what um, core with sunlight and we since we recently moved and we have had a lot going on um, we are still going to be tying up some loose ends with this particular um the sunlight d for another month or two before we move on to e all right and these are the readers so i'm going to show you what all came for the independent readers just lots and lots of books so much fun and like i said you can choose what your child does. I mean, you don't have to assign all of these as <clears throat> readers. You can do other things. But the good news is that, and something that I really love, is the fact that 
all of these books kind of correlate to what you're learning in the history and I think it just helps to um, just add another layer to help retain that knowledge and then the last one here so that is I think that's everything for oh and it came with this for Bible as well and I don't think that this is included in the new for this year in this in core D. I don't think it's included um, I think they've got something else but this was also included in the package for D all right so that is everything and like I said we're still working through some of this curriculum when we start back we're just gonna kind of finish out some of the things that we didn't get to and then we're gonna be moving into core E for our group subjects I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of what we did last year I really loved it I thought it was amazing and so we're just gonna keep going we also did some site the science language arts um, and I have some kindergarten and preschool curriculum that I will share with you guys in an upcoming video. And I will also be talking about what my uh, seventh grader and fifth grader or fourth grader did for their other subjects. So stay tuned for those videos. They will be coming up very soon and I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to leave a comment, a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to. And as always, thanks for being here. Bye. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still